Hi, um, my name is Rick and uh, Alana, is. my daughter, and sidekick for my uh, my video series. Uh, and the title of this video is Silver After the Apocalypse. Uh, so presumably, uh, the apocalypse has happened and uh, law and order has now been restored, at least in your local area. And all of the flesh-eating zombies have been dealt with. Uh, so, uh... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. But what if they won? Oh. Well, and then in that case, bad zombie. Bad. <laughs> you put that finger sandwich down. It's for the party. Bad. <laughs> okay, but seriously, um... The zombies wouldn't watch this. They have way more intelligence. Um, no. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, the value of some of the silver coins that will probably be coming out of attics and jars and other hidden spaces uh, to be used for trading purposes, just like they have been for the last 6,000 years of human history until uh, fairly recently here in the, the great history of the United States. Now, a lot of the people who I'd say are probably under the age of 50 may not even have seen some of these silver coins before and, you know, should be able to, uh, to recognize them so that if someone wants to trade, uh, they're aware that they at least uh, exist. So let me run them by you. Now, once again, this is a fun school, so I'm only going to throw one date at you that you have to remember. And it's not when George Washington crossed the Delaware or, or Abraham Lincoln's address or, or any, any other crap. Um, the first thing we're going to talk about is, here you go, this is a mercury dime. And um, it actually is, <laughs> it actually is placed inside of a tie tack that I used to wear years ago. Uh, I think it's good years ago because I thought it was cool and now I just think it's well tacky um, and this is made of 90 percent silver uh, I won't get into the weight but um, it is worth something okay it has precious metal in it and it's actually the god uh, Mercury uh, which is why it kinda looks like a chick with feathers in her hair so that's how you remember the Mercury dime now uh, the next dime here is something you're going to recognize. Um, it is the Roosevelt dime. And you're probably going to say, oh, I recognize that. I even have some here jingling around in my pocket. And chances are you do. Uh, the only difference is this one's actually worth something because it's got 90% silver in it. Um, starting in 1965, the United States government, that's not the date, by the way, the United States government decided to play a game. They said, hey, let's take out all the precious metal and let's replace it with fake base metals, but we'll keep it looking shiny just to, you know, trick people and pull a fast one on them. Um, so, starting in 65, things went downhill. All coinage from 1964 and before, like dimes, quarters, half dollars, dollars are good. They're 90% silver. Anything else after 64 is uh, a lot of jingling uh, trash, quite frankly. Um, next coin we have, you're also going to recognize. These are some of the easy ones. This is a George Washington quarter. Turn around the side. In case you've never seen that, of course you have. Now, the George Washington Quarter, once again, is from 90% silver. This, this personal one here is from 1964, the last year that they actually made these things out of silver. Yes, you have replicants, okay, strange alien items that uh, perhaps were hatched by a pod that look like this. However, they are fake, uh, and they are actually worth nothing. They have base metals which are worth, guess what? Nothing. This is the learning process. This is how we learn. Um, another coin which you may not have seen your entire life. This is called a Standing Liberty Half. 
It is a 50 cent piece and uh, they actually stopped making it in 1947. Um, and it is worth, uh, uh, it was worth then 50 cents and it is worth now 50 cents. But it's worth a lot more than that because it is from 90% silver. If I was to sell this right now on the open market, I would get around $6.66 for this particular coin. For the, for the quarter, I'd get about $3.33. Um, that's because it has precious metal in it and, um, and that's what makes it valuable. This is another coin which you may possibly have run across, although a lot of a lot of old people have these squirreled away in their trunks and in their attics and you'll never find these things. This is called a Franklin half. There you go, I got the Liberty Bell there in the background. Sh a shout out to our brothers in Philly. Wait, wait. Is that a girl or a guy? Well, I have seen a I have seen a tell all book about uh, old Franklin. Um, but this is a family video, so we're not gonna get into that. Bottom line is once again half dollar, and it's worth um, about six sixty six because of the silver content. Um, and these were made up until nineteen sixty four, when they were replaced by this this poor gentleman. Um, and we zero in there, and that is a Kennedy nineteen sixty four half dollar. Um, of course, John F. Kennedy. Uh, one of the youngest president of the United States at that point, and uh, he was shot in Dallas in 1963, and uh, the country was in mourning, and the Mint decided to put out a very nice, very attractive half dollar piece uh, that was made from 90% silver, and it is worth about 666, uh, based on the spot price of silver being around 1830 an ounce right now. It uh, um, it is worth something. Now you still will see these perhaps show up in your pocket change today. Um, but once again, don't let the government fool you. They're pod halves. They're not real, they're fake. Um, now that's some of the common coinage that you're gonna see that was minted from 1964 uh, back into the past. Uh, and there's other types of silver coinage as well. But I think these are some of the ones that you're more likely to, to see in a trading scenario after the Great Zombie Massacre.